Uh, I'm coachable, I guess. I'm coachable, huh? Well, you know, first, uh, let me say that, you know, uh, coming off of the last game we played, I thought it was kind of like the total opposite. I thought we had fun playing defense, and that's why I stressed with our guys coming out defensively and setting the tone. And, and I, it's amazing how you do that and what takes place on offense. And if your defense is really, really solid and good, and you're making shots, uh, then a lot of good things took place. Uh, you know, Connecticut, I thought, just kind of ran out of gas. And, and of course, that, that third game in four days. And I just feel we're built for tournaments like this here with the depth uh, that we have. And we trusted that depth today. Uh, you know, the most anybody played, I think, was 26, uh, 27 minutes, as opposed to, you know, the Oklahoma game, we had guys playing like 36 minutes. And, then you come back and play Carolina. Somebody, I think one of my guys played 38 minutes. It's hard to play at the level I want to play. Uh, uh, but it was a good team win. Our bench came in and played well. We shot the ball well. We defended well. Uh, did a lot of good things. I knew last night I was going to play. Um, I've been doing treatment since last night. Um, Dave, like I always say, is one of the best trainers, and I knew he was going to get me right for today. So I had a lot of confidence going out. How did it feel? How did it feel today? It felt good. I'm in, I'm in pain right now, but I didn't feel anything during the game. I guess I was just hyped. Jalen, you said a while back that you wanted to get like the staff, you wanted to be like Dave. Did you know, did you even think that you were coming here whenever you said that? No. No, I didn't think about that. I was just uh, playing my game and just feeding off my teammates, and they were just giving me the ball and just giving me open. And just I was just coming off screens. Dame, you mean Damian Lillard? Yeah, that's what I assumed you meant, right? Oh, yeah, Damian Lillard, yeah. Oh, my God. Shout out to him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now he's going to take my favorite player. Wow. Well, that's why I said we, play, we had fun with our defense. We built a wall. We, we knew their strength was attacking, getting in the lanes, and, you know, Adams, and you got Gilbert, uh, and creating for others and themselves. I thought we did a good job of really getting, you know, big, getting engaged, coming up on the ball screen, because that's one of the things that they do, screen and roll. And I thought we were able to, when we switch, we switch with purpose. We switch, switch, we switch for, per, for pressure. And, uh, but I thought our defense, our uh, guys, I always talk about seeing the ball in the man. I thought our guys were really in, uh, in a nice rhythm, uh, in touch with one another. They were talking, uh, they, were, they were moving, they were getting multiple efforts. We always talk about you know, that second, third, and fourth effort. We saw that. Even when they had guys that had uncontested shots, you saw our guys really flying and just making it difficult on every shot. And the ending part of defense is rebounding the basketball. And, uh, and we've been a pretty decent rebounding team in the day. I thought it was very, very evident with 34 defensive rebounds. Uh, that means we didn't give them uh, many second chance points. And, and I thought as the game wore on, we were able to run out you know, on their missed shots and get some easy opportunities. How big of a weekend was it to see Jalen to get Darius some good minutes today and have him do some things? Like how much do you think that helped moving forward with those two? Talk about developing our bench, and I think that's going to be a big key. Those, the only way those guys are going to develop is they got to go out and play. And they're going to have miscues, they're going to foul, they're going to do some things that I don't like. Uh, uh, but at the same time, they got to learn from those, uh, those mistakes. And, and, and I thought we saw that in, in each and every game, especially for Darius. But this was, this was a great game for Darius to come out and play well. CJ, uh, we've seen where he's capable of doing it. Uh, the thing I like about what is taking place, those guys are doing other things. And, uh, and I think it, what is really big now is, you know, now that we have Dustin Thomas back, get him in the river. And so because he does so many things for our basketball team. And as you start putting all that together, you know, with these guys that are starting out and the guys that are coming off the bench, uh, I think we can sustain uh, a certain level of play as we continue to play out throughout this year. I think we, we got better on this trip. How much better, uh, how much better do you feel getting out here 2 and one instead of going on one and two? How big was this game in terms of Well, it would have been nice to go three and oh, Dabby. Uh, you could have went that way, okay? Uh, but I, I, I think, you know, it was, it was next – Next best thing, and not only just the two and one, but how we were playing. Uh, I think that's the big key. You played a, an outstanding Oklahoma team early on, and 
uh, didn't play as well against North Carolina. You know, had a run back in it, but uh, we just, you know, they're a little bit better than we are at this point in time. But to bounce back and, and play the way we played today, you know, that's, uh, Kevin has a very good basketball team. It's one of those days where we played really, really, really well. They cut it to 10, never got it to single digits, and that's the sign of a, a, a tremendous coach. When you, the kids, they don't give up. Uh, they could have just folded the tent, but then I thought going down the stretch, <clears throat> I thought they ran out of gas. They really did. And you saw us getting some wide open shots and some easy opportunities to baskets, and, and that's part of what we do. We, we want the game to be 40 minutes. Darryl, how much does it change you guys, what you're able to do when TJ plays like you did today? I hear you. How much does it change what you guys are able to do, how you can the whole when TJ plays like you did today? Um, CJ's a he's a great player. Um, I think if he if he continues to do what he's doing now, um, he'll develop. As far as when me and Jalen leave, it'll be time for him to step up. And you know, as, as I went down yesterday, he had to step up yesterday, and I think that was big for him. Got his confidence back. He was making shots yesterday. He came in the game making shots today. So. I, I thought he played well today, with the exception of a couple of times where, you know, you know, I think he had the ball, they took it from him, and you know, like most freshmen, they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to get it back, and uh, so you have a mistake, then you, you double that mistake. He had two fouls just like that. I thought he did a much better job in the second half of really using his length to, to make him shoot shots over him, and uh, and as a big guy, they're gonna attack, him. so he's got to figure out some things, and the only way you're gonna figure it out is through playing. Uh, so having an opportunity to come and play at this level, to play against the big bodies that he's played against, I, it can only benefit him uh, as we move forward because he's, like I said, at 6'11 and doing the things he can do, run the floor, got a great pair of hands. Uh, he'll continue to get stronger, and, and trust me, the basketball IQ will continue to get sharper for him. Yeah, we wanted to get JT a, a good shot. You know, we always tell JT to shoot. He ain't, he haven't realized yet that he's uh, a player instead of a manager, so <laughs> we still trying to get him to shoot. But shout out to Johnny, though. Y'all don't know Johnny like I know Johnny. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs>